you ever wonder why you like your favorite color? Um, I mean, really, other than the fact that it looks great on you, you look gorgeous in it, or it looks great on your walls. You ever wonder why you really like that color like it's yours? I'll tell you why. Color is like tangible emotion, all right? When you see it, unconsciously, your favorite color, you have an emotional reaction to it. You have a, an emotional attachment to it. Now, how many Saints fans here? Say who that if you're a Saints fan. Yeah. All right. Do I need to remind you of why you have an emotional attachment to these two colors? <laughs> no. No way. This is one of my works here. So there's a guy named David who walked into a room, and he liked this color. The room is painted this color. It's that nice TED, TEDx logo color, you know. He loved it. And so he made a trip to Home Depot, and on his way home, uh, he picked up some paint. On his way home, he went to his office and painted his office. Sat in there, said, oh, this feels great. So his wife, her name's Patty, his wife Patty comes in and says, hey, David, I don't like this color. I don't, you know, it just, I don't know, it just feels uncomfortable, you know? Well, she has an emotional attachment to, to that color, too, because when she was a little girl and her grandmother's deceased, and when she was a little girl, she cooked with her grandmother, fond memories of cooking and learning how to cook, but her grandmother died, and that was awful for her. So on the backsplash of where the stove is, there is the same color that she has this emotional attachment to. So it's not a positive thing for her. On the other hand, David, he grew up on a farm. And on that farm, there were apple trees he played in. So he ate apples for lunch, breakfast, and dinner. And so he has more of a positive attachment to it. So that confirms that the color is you have, to, you have an emotional attachment to that color, all right? So let me share my work with you. This, this piece I love. I did it pre-Katrina. Um, it's called Post-Hurricane Blues, but it was pre-Katrina. And it was a fun piece. I felt really good when I did it. This piece, I'm sorry, uh, that's, that's not a piece, but Hurricane Katrina hit. <laughs> and we moved to Georgia. For two years, we stayed there. This piece is, uh, is called Post-Katrina Blues. Now, I wasn't happy when I painted this piece because uh, I'd lost my job as, a, as an uh, art instructor. We didn't have a lot of money, lost my artwork, my home. Anyway, I, when I painted this, my wife said, uh, I, don't, I don't like this piece, you know? She had a negative attachment to the piece. So, and it, rightly so, because when she looked at it, what she really saw was this. She didn't see the color. And she looked further and saw this, and deeper, and she saw this. So that's understandable. Now, this piece today, this image alone, has made us more profit than any of my other images combined. So now my wife has a different emotional <laughs> attachment to it. <laughs> So after, after that, after I painted that piece, I could not paint one piece without putting water underneath the, the painting. So each of these images following that has water. Now, I decided I didn't want to paint water underneath houses anymore. So I got rid of that idea. My solution to it was to come up with a, a series called Hurricane Solution Painting. So this is solution number one, to put the hurricane, put the, uh, Houses in trees. This is hurricane solution number two to put them on stilts. And look at the guy underneath the hammock, you know. I love stuff like that. <laughs> this is my favorite one, hurricane solution number three, uh, to put the houses on boats. This is hurricane solution number four, <laughs> to put them on top of buildings. So we moved to New Orleans after two years, and I decided I didn't want to paint any more hurricane anything. So I started working on different stuff, more of the interior of the house. And uh, here's, here's another one. This is actually on our front door. You have to look for the handle when you walk out. Um, 
This is my dog. His name is Toaster. My, my daughter named him Toaster. I don't know why, but I was like, all right, that's fine, Toaster. So I was in more of a festive mood working on all these. And then the oil spill happened. <sighs> and OK, um, I didn't want to do anything on the oil spill. But you know, artists are historians, so we have to, I had to do something. So this is what I did. And I like this piece. You know, I, in working on all of my Katrina work, I realized that the color was therapy for me. So even though I was working on, t on Katrina, and uh, as awful as that storm was, um, I, the color was the thing that I was emotionally attached to. So I use that to make me feel good. And this, this nice purple in here really feels good. So what I want you to do when you go home is go to a room that you really like, look at the, look at the wall, pick, just pick one room. Look at the wall and ask yourself, is this a wall, is this color on the wall a color for me? Do I like it? When I walk in there, do I feel good? If, it, if you don't feel good, then go to Home Depot <laughs> and get a color that you like and paint it. Don't worry about somebody seeing it. Just paint it. Do that for you so that you can feel good. Thank you. <laughs> 